What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Alpha Sapphire walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we did a lot. Yeah, we did a lot, guys. Uh, we went through the Team Aqua hideout, and they revealed to us quite a few things that they're planning. I just don't get their logic. But anywho, it is finally time for us to move east to Moss Deep City, because, well, we got to continue this, uh, this, uh, this adventure. Many of you guys have been asking... Hey, Draven, when is the next walkthrough coming out? Well, it's going to be coming out pretty soon right here, guys. Just give me some, just give it some time right here. So, anywho, after you've done the events of the Team Aqua or Team Magma hideout, you will be able to go east and, uh, well, make sure to bring a, a lot of repels because, well, there are going to be some uh, water-type Pokemon that are going to want to attack you and all that crud. Yes. Okay, so let's move on right here. Here we are, guys, in Route 124. And there will be some trainers here that you're going to want to battle. And, uh, well, let's see. A lot of hidden spots right here, like beauties and all that crud. Okay, so let's go. Let's do it. Anywho. Man, we have been uh, putting in some work for Pokemon Alpha Sapphire. Um, I've, I've recently watched a few episodes. Some, uh, some episodes that I've created and all that stuff. And, man, I got to say... <laughs> Uh, I've been having fun doing this walkthrough the way it is. Um, I know that many of you guys have been wondering, like, okay, so why are you splitting, it up, uh, splitting up the episodes like you did back in, you know, the previous walkthroughs and all that stuff, uh, you know, Pokemon Omega Ruby and stuff? Well, it's just to give it give it a little bit more, I guess, long longevity for this walkthrough and all that stuff, guys. Breaking it down. There is no speed button, so we really can't get through this whole episode or this walkthrough that quick like in the old walkthroughs and stuff once we get to nintendo 3ds and then the nintendo switch things are going to slow down just because well it, it requires it and all that stuff so let's go ahead and some uh, let's go ahead and have some fun with these walkthroughs right here so let's go ahead and battle now if you guys remember um it, my pokemon journeys hd channel the very first episode that i came out with with um pokemon what was it called um Pokemon, I can't remember the name. Holy crud, man. Have, have I been gone this long? Jesus, criminy. <laughs> I've been gone. Uh, Pokemon Prism. If you guys remember Pokemon Prism, I have gotten myself a new controller, and it's probably one of the best ones out there just for, you know, the older game consoles and all that crud. Especially if you want to connect it to the Nintendo Switch, and that's probably what I'm going to be doing when, you know, we get back to it and all that crud. And this guy is making my life a living you-know-what. So let's go right ahead and switch out our Pokemon. And get with Tommy JDF. Yes. The man, the myth, the legend. And this Pokemon right here is going to be falling asleep because it needs to recover. We're going to get hit by hail because, well, you know, Arceus hates us. Ugh. Okay. Let's see. Blaze Kick for the win. And Bam. That right there puts this Pokemon to sleep for a good, good time. And bam, there it is. Tommy JDF grows a little 57, and it wants to learn Sky Uppercut. So let's go ahead and take away its double kick. We really don't need it anymore. And Sky Uppercut, there it is. It's most powerful fighting type move. Toxic Batman, level 34. Guy of the Fierce Knight at level 49, and it's trying to learn Hypnosis. We're going to keep all the moves for right now because we kind of don't need hypnosis. But there it is. We have defeated another swimmer. Now, this whole area is filled with a bunch of mysteries, guys. If you haven't noticed, there is a dark area right here, a dark square. There is a move that we that we desperately need in order to, you know, look around, find some places, do stuff and whatnot. Eventually, it will come. And, uh, well, let's see. Let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon. Actually, did I switch the Pokemon because it, it, it kind of... Yeah, okay. So, Leviathan is not going to do well in this battle. So, let's go with Claymore. Unfortunately, it will still be affected by, by electric-type attacks. But it won't take a... It, hopefully, it won't take that much damage. I'm kind of hoping, okay? So, here we go. Take it on Sis, Imbro, Rita, and Sam. And, uh, well, would you look at that? One of them has, in a, has a ground-type Pokemon that will mess with us. Okay, I see what's going on right here. Let's go straight for that. Let's target this Pokemon. And 
Huh. Let's go with an iron head onto Whiskash. Of course, Whiskash, as, as you already know, it's a it's an a-hole Pokemon and all that stuff. And here comes an earthquake attack. That is definitely gonna mess up uh, Claymore. Here we go. Iron Head doesn't do anything. We definitely need to switch out our Pokemon right here. So let's go straight for Leviathan and switch this guy out. Let's go with Toxic Batman, mainly for the whole ground type of Asian and all that stuff. So here we go. Say hello to Leviathan. And uh, who's next right here? Oh, yes. This guy right here, Toxic Batman. Yeah, buddy. So here comes an Earthquake attack. Doesn't really affect two of the four Pokemon right here. And that right there. This Pokemon's stockpiling for something pretty bad. Its defense is increasing dramatically. So what we need to do now is... Well, let's go with a Dragon Pulse onto Pelipper. Let's go ahead and finish this Pokemon off. Let's go with a Whiskash. And there we go. Look at that. Okay. Yes, we're getting some points. And, well, here comes a Dragon Pulse attack for the win. Not really. And, wow, this Pokemon is, yeah, it's stockpiling like nobody's business. And, well, here comes another Earthquake attack. Hitting Leviathan like nobody's business. So, let's go with another Dragon Pulse right here. And a Confuse Ray onto this guy. Focus our... Yeah, focus our intentions right here. Let's make this Pokemon uh, let's make this Pokemon work for it. And here comes a Dragon Pulse attack. And yes, this Pokemon has become a tank. And it gets another hit just because it got confused. Here comes a Zen Headbutt. And it's going to mess up Talk to Batman. So we need to pay attention to this guy right here. Let's go with Whiskash. And uh, let's go straight for a Poison Fang onto Pelipper. So... There we go. Come on, poison it. And it is not poison. So here we go. Leviathan for the win. Say goodbye to Whiskash. What now? Okay. And look at this. Leviathan grows to level 43. And talks to Batman earning some points. And everybody's getting some points here too, including Claymore. And, well, Pelipper is still confused. And it still won't go down. Okay, let's go. Let's finish this Pokemon off. Let's go with one more Dragon Pulse and another Poison Fang. It would have been awesome just to, you know, it would have been awesome to poison this Pokemon. It would have been easier. And, well, there you go. It's poisoned. Here comes a Dragon Pulse. And there we go. Okay. All righty. And there we go. Everybody gets more points. And just like that, we win. So yeah, who never said that going to Moss Deep City would be would be easy? No. We definitely never said it was going to be easy. But as you guys can see, we're going to be seeing some bays right here. And that right there, Pokemon that you'll find. Oh, it looks like there is a hidden Pokemon close by. But nah, I'm not in the mood of capturing anything right now. So let's go ahead and surf our way right here. If you go to this girl, she's like, hey, do you know what? Do you, do, do you know what? What? Uh, no, I don't know what. You agree. Huh. So, is you, if you guys can see, this is the treasure hunter's house. Around Hoenn, you will be able to find some shards. As you guys can see, there are four different kinds of shards. There's green, yellow, red, and uh, blue. And each one of these shards has its reward. If you guys can see right here, Homeboy is going to be like, I'm a diving uh, treasure hunter. I'm the awesome dude who goes deep sea diving and gathers treasures uh, resting on the bottom of the seas. You haven't gotten any treasures from me. If you see any shards, like red shard, you've got to trade with me. Now, it's very simple to what he will actually give you. It says it right there on its chart. So, wanted item, red shard. He will trade the item for a fire stone. A yellow shard will be a thunder stone. A blue one will be a water stone. And of course, the green one will be a leaf stone. If you guys don't know, in in this game, or in, you know, many games, a lot of, a lot of these elemental stones don't appear. There's only a limited amount of time, a limited amount of uh, elemental stones. So, 
Of course, getting these shards will actually help you out right here. And, well, let's see. We are technically in Moss Deep City, but there is a Pokemon trainer that we kind of need to battle right here. So, let's go ahead and battle her. And see what she's all about. And there she is. She's followed us. Okay, so here it is. We're battling. And here is Swimmer Grace ready to take on us and she's coming out with a Whalmer. This Pokemon right here is a tank of a Pokemon. Just looking at it, it doesn't really yeah, it doesn't really uh, it doesn't, you, you really can't see the actual size of this Pokemon but it's one of the biggest ones in in all of Hoenn. And well, there we go. One hit KO. There goes another Pokemon. So let's go right ahead and take on a Zoomerol with this uh Thunderball right here. So here we go. Another Thunderball. Another Discharge. And there we go. Another win for us. There goes Azumarill. Holy buckets. Oh my god. And well, Toxic Batman wants to learn Acrobatics. This move right here is not as good as Fly. So I was like, okay, I, I was going to switch it out, but yeah, it wasn't going to work. So Let's go ahead and keep the old moves, and let's move on ahead. Yes. All righty. So, let's go right ahead and uh, see what, what else is there right here. There are some interesting Pokemon you can actually find right here, guys. But here we are in Moss Deep City. And, well, I guess we're in the bay. We're going to find a Big Pearl. That will actually help us with our money problems and whatnot. I have been spending a lot of money on TMs and stuff. <laughs> Okay, so here we are, Moss Deep City, and uh, this place is home to the Space Center and all that stuff. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a small visit to everything that you can see right here, and then that will be it. That shall be it. Now, there is a room right here that you can't open. If you talk to this guy, he's going to be like, When I was young, I traveled the world as a secret base expert. Even now that I've become an old geezer, my passion has not waned. I'm, wait I'm waiting impatiently for a secret base to appear just beyond that door. If anybody knows anything about that, okay? Anything. If there's, like, any kind of, like, uh, secret thing that I need to know of, just comment down below. Or, you know, don't. I, it really doesn't matter to me. <laughs> Anywho, let's see. This is home to the 7th Gym Badge. And, uh, home to a specific person that you will eventually meet up later on and have been meeting. If you talk to this guy, he's like, hmm, your Electrode. It likes, it, it likes you as much as it likes Pokeblocks. No, it likes you a little bit more than Pokeblocks. Huh. So what happens if, uh, what happens if I put Tommy JDF right here? Let's see. Um, hmm, you're Blaziken. It likes you as much as it likes Pokeblocks. Okay, so I guess it's maxed out and all that crud. And my husband measures everything based on Pokeblocks. That really... Okay, that, that, that's kind of disappointing right there. So, here we are. Let's see. Talk to this guy. He's going to be like, I got this from Steven, but I don't know what to do. Uh, what good for it. I think it's called a King's Rock. Do you want it? Sure. Let's go ahead and get that King's Rock. And bam. As many of you guys already know, King's Rock helps uh, Pokemon... Well, helps flinching. Helps... Yeah, it helps flinching. And uh, it is an... Ele an it is an evolutionary stone or held item that you can use on two particular Pokemon to evolve. And as you guys can see, there's nobody here right now. And there's a note on the plate. Classification, Church, Source, Mount Pyre, Hoenn Region. Hmm. And this one is Pitchstone, Mount Mordor, Johto. Oh, wow. And on this, it's Classification, Celestine. I don't even know what that is, but it's at Mount Coronet, Sinnoh Region. I wonder what the last one is. And then, let's see, what else can we find around here of importance? Well, at this house. And if you talk to this person, my little brother says that he's going to find the biggest secret base. Are you really? And this guy is going to be like, did you know that some items can make secret bases seem bigger? Try solid boards and stairs, which is true, guys. I mean, you can make a secret base bigger than what it is. And, well, let's see, there is... Probably one more thing that we can actually see right here. Maybe two. 
I could be wrong. If you talk to this guy, he's gonna be like, all life uh, needs uh, water to survive, even though it makes some home to land, and all of life, having run its course, becomes soil and returns to the land. Thus, the waters of the sea are always connected to the land. Yes, like the, like the very shoreline here. Hmm. He makes a lot of sense. Maybe he should talk to Team Aqua and stuff. And, well, here we found ourselves a netball. That right there will help us out with, I guess, capturing more Pokemon or something. <laughs> Alrighty, so let's see. There is a house right here that we need to explore. And, wow, there's a bunch of creepy ladies right here. And every gym badge tells a story of hard, uh, hard won victory against a worthy opponent. I can look at the badge and tell you which Pokemon were you when you want it. I, can I see your gym badges? Sure. And let's see, let's go ahead and start off with, uh, let's go with the balance badge. This person's gonna be like, okay, you got the balance badge with, uh, let's see, Blaziken, Gyarados, Gardevoir, and Sableye, Lombre, and Electrode. A whole team! You were ready for anything. And, well, I think we already know the story. We just gotta look back on our, on our stuff right here. And talk to this lady. From the time she was a small child, my older sister spoke hardly. Somewhere along the line, she learned to read the experiences of certain objects. Oh. So she must be a psychic or something. Anywho, there is a space station right here, guys. And this place is, uh, well, before we get there... Let's see what this is all about. Talk to this guy. My little sister's always getting letters from her boyfriend in Fortree. I'm not jealous, not even a little. If you guys remember, we were in Fortree and we did see this Wingle right here. And it's gonna go back to Fortree. Talk to this girl. She's like, even though I can't see my dear friend in Fortree, a Pokemon carries mail back and forth for us. I'm not lonesome, even though we're apart. Hmm. Yet on say. We we do live in the 21st century, so like, you know, you could do more than just that, like, Skype each other, Instagram, Snapchat, that kind of stuff. This rock has a special meaning to uh, the people at the Space Center. They put here to wish for their rockets to fly safely. Do you make a wish? What do you use? Do you wish upon a star? I wish, uh, I use a wish tag to make it happen. That's what I do. I don't know what I do. I mean, I've wished for things, but never really has it come to, to fruition and stuff. Now, if you talk to this guy... This guy will be giving you the Super Rod, which will enable you to capture rare Pokemon. You know, Whalmer comes to mind, Carvana, Sharpedo, those kinds of Pokemon. And, well, let's see. Go down here. This is, uh, this is incredible. Talk to this guy. A voyage on a ship is fine, but crossing the sea with Pokemon using Surf? Now, that's an exhilarating trip. Wouldn't you agree, youngster? Yes. It is a, an exhilarating trip. And here we are in the space the space center area where they launched the rocket. And as you guys can see, there's literally nothing right here right now. But you can see the rocket from up close. And I, I was kind of thinking there, was, there would have been an item right here somewhere. But I guess not. So the last thing that we need to visit here in Moss Deep is the space center. Now, there is something right here that we need to check out. If you see, wouldn't it be nice if this island, no, the whole world was bird, burgon, burgoning with nature, huh? But look at that. That is awesome right there. The rocket looks pretty cool. Hopefully we get to see it in space and all that crud. So here is the space center and, uh, well, there really isn't nothing that you can see except just be a little toy model right here. And, uh, well, let's see. Is there anything else? Yeah, you can actually see... You can see the sights right here and talk to this old man and he's gonna be like a giant chunk of metal bursts through the sky and flies into space. It boggles my mind. It does. It boggles my mind. And if we talk to this guy, the rocket has launched safely. That successful launch number 24. Hmm. I've always wanted to know what it would be like to be an astronaut. I heard a lot of amazing things. A lot of... Well, it, it entails a lot of... Uh, what was it called? A lot of... What was it? Uh, training. A lot of nasty training, and yeah, that's something that, you know, that's something a, a specific few can only do. That's why, you know, astronauts, they're no joke. They are no joke. Anywho, that is pretty much it for this episode right here, guys. In the next one, we're going to be going into, I believe, the ice cave, I think. Yeah, whatever it's called. We're going to be going into an ice cave. Hopefully, we're at the tide that we need to be in order to get what we want. Hopefully, I don't know. 
we will find out pretty soon right here. So, any of you guys, thank you guys again for watching. Thank you guys again for being patient as always. I'll be back for another episode of our Pokemon Alpha Sapphire walkthrough. See you guys.